Okay, good evening. It's so dark. I can barely see myself. Hi, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay, yeah. Okay, perfect. So I can hear you now, Francisco, Brenda, uh, Carla, Flor, Jackie, Miguel. Hey, you're back, Miguel. So they told me they have some connection problems. And Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, guys. Good evening. And we miss you, Miguel. Uh, well, uh, yes, I really I have a uh, problem with my internet the last two days. I know, I know. Oh. Is is fight with the company, claro. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's fight fight with con with company Claro because uh, fixes uh, my internet. Yeah, I understand yes. that. Yes, yes, I I'm really sorry, teacher, but I see the videos in YouTube uh, the last um, uh, two days. Okay, that's great. Yes, yes. that's really Okay, so uh, welcome, Juan Jose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Do you hear me? I, yeah. Teacher, okay. I hear you like you are so far. Far from, from there, really? Yeah, like really. Why? So maybe it's because of the fan. Oh, yes. I don't know. Now? Better, a little bit better. OK. Uh, oh, yes, now it's much it's better. better. And yeah, it's clear. OK, got it. Um, let me see who else is here. Karen and Jennifer, welcome. Thanks, teacher. Did you have a good day today? Teacher, but we 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 hear your fan cooler. No, it's not mine. It's not yours. Oh, okay. No? Okay, now it's it's okay. Yeah, I think it was somebody else's microphone. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to move on and just wait a couple of seconds, right, for the rest of your classmates. So in the meantime, you know that I always like to ask questions, right, to start talking, uh, to know a little bit more about each other. So um, if you have to think about the, let's say, uh, your your normal routine on a weekend, on a Sunday, to be more specific, on a Sunday that the majority of people don't, usually don't work, what would it be? What are the, what is the normal uh, routine that you follow on a Sunday or on a day off? So for example, on Sunday, I, well, I, first of all, I wake up late, later than the rest of the days. Okay, uh, probably around eight or nine, if possible, a little bit more. Uh, after I wake up, I wash my face, right? I drink water because that's, for me, that's really important to drink water after you wake up and you get up, right? So um, at least one cup of water is healthy, is good to activate all your organs, right? Internal organs. Uh, like Karen right now is drinking a lot of water, so it's good. Um, then um, I look for something to eat. Uh, so sometimes it's my brunch, like breakfast and lunch, right? So. Um, and in the afternoon, on the, on, in the, during the morning, I don't do that much. In the afternoon, I usually plan on fixing some stuff or checking some stuff or watching some things on, on, 
on the computer, on the cell phone. So I dedicated to hobbies or contacting friends, family, and sometimes I visit uh, relatives or have a coffee with a friend. So that's a normal routine on, on, a, on a Sunday for me, okay? So I try to relax, I try, okay? Now, uh, what about you? What is something that you normally do on a Sunday or on a day off? I am going to send you to the breakout rooms, okay, in a moment so that you can express, okay? So today we're going to be doing a lot of speaking, okay? Yesterday was so-so, okay? The day before yesterday, we practiced even more speaking. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about different things, okay? So you have more information to share, okay, with your classmates. So I'm going to take the attendance quickly. Uh, welcome, uh, Mariela. I see Maritza, Anna Elizabeth, Jessica, well, Janari. Janari, right? Okay, Janari is driving right now. Uh, Laura, and I also see, well, Merlin is here. Now, we're going to get started. Uh, just say, wait a second. Present or here, right? Okay, it's too bright. Okay, so the first one is uh, Beatriz, not here. I'm here. Yes, okay, you came right on time. Yes. Okay, perfect. So let me see. The next one is Elizabeth. I'm here, I'm in my work. At work, okay. Working women, we have a lot of hardworking people in this group. So, uh, Mariela? Present. Brenda? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Carla? Hi, teacher. I'm here. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Diane? Lady D? Present. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Floridalma? Somebody drop the microphone. Okay, let's check. Francisco? Present teacher. Present. Okay, good, thank you. Laura? I'm here, teacher. Great. Arvin? Thank you. Oh, sorry, did you, did you say my name? Uh, which one? Floor. Floor, yes. Okay, so I, I had, I think that I had bad connection because I'm going my home right now. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the reason why. That's the reason why. Okay, thanks for letting me know about that, uh, Floor. We continue with Harvin. Present. Mm. Hey, welcome, right on time. Uh, Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Juan Jose. Juan Jose. Hey. Oh, excuse me, I am here. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Juan Jose. The next one is Karen. Present. Maritza. Present. Merlin. Present. Miguel Angel. I'm here, teacher. Rolando. Rolando. Not here yet. Okay. The next one is Ruth. Um, she told me that she was also um, working, but hopefully she's going to join us soon. Uh, next one is Suleyma. Suleyma, Suleyma, not here. Uh, Janari. I'm here, Tita. Jackie. Present. Blanca. 
I'm here. Good. Uh, Freddy's. Okay, surprisingly, Freddy's not here, so probably he's got an inconvenience. Uh, Merlin, okay, got it. Thank you. So we're going to go on, and as I told you, you're going to discuss just a little bit about what you normally do on a Sunday or on a day off, okay? Because, I mean, talking about work is something that probably you are like, ah, no, I work every day. I talk about, I think about working every day. So it's, it's not so enjoyable, right, for you, um, especially during this situation, right, that we're going through. So let's talk about what we normally do on a day off, right? So you can mention steps, right? Like first I do this, then I do that. So you are sharing not only the activities, but also a specific order in which you normally do the things. So that's what you're, go you're going to do. I am going to create the breakout rooms. You can tell Rolando what we're going to do. Uh, he's just connecting right now. So we are 21, I'm going to create seven groups so three in each one um and you will have exactly well that will be one two three maximum four minutes just in case somebody starts asking questions something that i will i will strongly recommend you when you are in the breakout rooms and you are in conversations and the conversation is free let's say about the topic is free or you have the possibility to speak a little bit more Use follow-up questions. Follow-up questions are really important. For example, if I tell you, I normally watch TV or on the computer, I watch my favorite series. Okay, the teacher didn't mention what series, right? Or which one? So I can ask a question about that. Teacher, which series do you watch? And then I tell you, right? Hey, me too, I like it. So follow-up questions is like extra questions based on the information that you are receiving. Okay, so that is one strategy that you can use to uh, keep a conversation flowing because for some people that's a challenge, right? Like, hey, hi, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Freddie and you, uh, Carlos. Okay. Um, and it's like that uncomfortable silence, right? Like, okay, what do I ask? What do I say now? Uh, so we need to develop the ability, especially in English, right? We need to develop the ability of uh, asking questions, having a conversation uh, going on, right? So for that reason, learning how to use follow-up questions is important. It's like detectives, right? Detectives are asking you one question. When you're answering, they think about the next question and they, are, they go like that, right? So they want to get as much information as possible, of course. In a real life conversation, you're not going to be like a detective, right? Asking a lot of personal questions. But it can be a nice question like, okay, so what kind of uh, series do you like? Do you have Netflix? So it's not something very private, right? Uh, like talking about marital status or if you have children, if you, how much money you make. No, those are not questions that we normally ask in a question, in a conversation, sorry. So. That's uh, something I, wa I wanted to, to mention, right? That whenever you're, whenever you're having conversations or you're in the breakout rooms and you want to, to practice more speaking, right? Okay. Ask follow-up questions, okay? So right now you're going to go to the breakout rooms and to talk about what you normally do on your day off or on Sunday, right? That is normally the, um, the day that we, the majority of people rest. So um, mention the most important activities, right? The, uh, the time you wake up, if you want, okay? If you stay home, if you like to, I don't know, uh, do gardening in your house, right? If you like to clean your things, if you like to go out, if you like to travel, okay? If you like to watch things and just eat, order food, you don't want to cook anything that comes to your mind, right? Ready, set, and... Go now.
Okay, Rolando, Merlin, and Elizabeth, Mariela, did you receive the invitation to join the breakout room? Yes, no. Rolando, can you hear me? Okay, so as soon as you get the invitation, please join the breakout room. I'm going to check if I can move some of you to another one or to send it again. Ready? Do you, excuse me, could you repeat? I'm sorry, but I can listen to you very well. No worries. Going to... What do you usually do on your day, day off? off? Ah, okay. Well, I usually, well, my day off is uh, our weekends, Sunday and uh, Saturday. Um, for Saturday, well, I wake up very late. I, um, I, I get up at, from nine to 10 and I have breakfast or well, the, the teacher say brunch, like brunch. Uh, so it's like a breakfast lunch, right? Exactly, uh -huh. it's a new word for me. Yeah, brunch, brunch. B-R-U-N-C-H. Exactly. Go to the, the market or mercado but we need to buy uh, uh, vegetable, uh, fruit, um, and, and other, and another teacher. Uh, uh -huh, another what? Uh, yes. <laughs> How do you say abarrotes? Groceries. Groceries. Yeah, uh, groceries. But, yeah. Yeah, uh, groceries no is a. Uh, so a grocery store, for catarra, example. No. no, that's junk food or fast food. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when you say grocery store, it's abarroteria, right? The place where you okay. can buy many things. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, groceries. It's no yeah. groceries, right? That's a yeah. close friend. <laughs> That's yes. a false friend, okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um what? <clears throat> like this. Yes, we are working. Clock uh -huh. roof lips. Clock uh -huh. roof lips. lips. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. What are you talking about? Uh about when there is a hole in the roof, and so you are like uh something to cover that hole. So then the, when it's raining, the water doesn't come down. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, okay, in my case, what I do in a normal weekend, but it's just one day, right, teacher? Sunday. One day, yeah. The day that you, it's like for you to <clears throat> relax. Oh, okay. Well, what I do is like uh, at the beginning, I have to go church or like, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. And then after I come from that place, I just have my lunch. I try to take rest because I have to relax, right? The whole week will be very busy. So I try to relax a little bit. Maybe sometimes I read something, sometimes I watch a movie or other times uh, there is people coming home. So depending on what is there? So that is what I do. But usually every um, Sunday I eat pupusas at night. That is like like a rule. <laughs> okay. I have two house. 
It's mandatory. Near of your house? Sorry? It pupus are near of your house? Oh, near yeah. Your house. Here, yeah, they bring it to home. I just, uh, because. Since Saturday, I wake up nine o'clock, something like that. Then You're the Sunday, it's really my day off. I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> and on Sunday, I don't do anything, really. Uh, only I watch K dramas, the, that it's Korean dramas, it's, mm -hmm. that are really good. You have to see it because they're good. The majority of <laughs> them are really ro good. romantic, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, and very funny because they put it the romantic style, the funny, and they mix up everything. And, okay. And the history I, are very good. I, I love them. And okay. where can fans, where can, where can I, I, I have with my family, a, a, a party, party is uh, uh, in uh, my favorite uh, hobby is uh, play soccer in the afternoon and in at night uh, we prepare uh, our dinner for my family. Okay. This is my you... daily routine about my day off. Okay. Do you cook in your home? Hear you. Um sometime. Sometime. I okay. help uh, we to my wife. Ah okay, okay. And yes, I help. Do you work every single Saturday? Because yes. you said you you only have the, the the Sunday free. Yes, I, and on Saturday I I work uh, middle time. Oh, uh, okay. For, for example, for example, uh, eight from twelve p.m. in the from, afternoon. From eight to twelve. I work. Uh, Yes, yes. Eight to twelve. In the afternoon, sometime I I I work from um if, if I have a pending. How do you say pending the teacher? Pending? Pending assignments? Uh-huh. Yeah, pending, pending assignments, assignments yes, or pending. I work tasks. in a pending uh -huh. assignment. Yes, yes, I pending assignment in in the afternoon. Um it's on time uh, on Saturday. Okay. Brenda, you are here? I think she can hear you. She can hear us. Probably not. Okay, teacher, I have a question for you. Uh huh. How do you play when, for example, my house is close to my mom, mm -hmm. to house mom? But, to your mom's house, huh? I got it. Yes, but she is not my my neighbor. She's in the same terreno. The same, on the same land? Is is this land? Like you're you're talking terra? about this. I mean the same. Uh, yeah, I mean you're talking about the same. Um, how can I tell you? Property, the same property. Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. So the same property. Mm -hmm. I can use both property yep. and land. Yeah, but land is more like open, right? But property is like uh, something that belongs to you, right? So yeah, that would be more formal. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. And what position do you like to play soccer, Miguel? Well, um, I I for 
I I'm good at in play soccer for forward. For water, okay, a striker, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A second, everybody's coming back from the breakout rooms. They were having a lot of talks, a lot of different conversations. Let me plug this. Okay, perfect. Sorry that I had to call you back, guys, but show must go on. So, Freddy. I have a question, teacher. Uh huh. How do you say me hizo llorar? I cried. You made me cry. You made me cry. Okay, thank you. Yeah, or the movie made me cry. Yeah. Yes. The movie La Cabaña. Uh -huh, the Cabin. Uh -huh, that's the name I think in English. The Cabin. The Cabin. Mm -hmm. Made you cry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, I have seen that movie. Yeah, once mm -hmm. it's it's a really sad movie. Uh, it's okay. touching. It's touching. Yeah, that would be the, the word. Okay, guys. So you already talk about your weekend. I think that you are thinking about that now, even though it's Wednesday. Uh, but who doesn't like weekends, right? Who doesn't like weekends? So uh, tomorrow, just for you to anticipate, right, the question that we're going to be discussing is, or the topic is about vacations, okay? So you can think about a vacation that you remember pretty well, okay? Or maybe a plan that you have for the next vacations or an ideal or a dream vacation that you have, right, in your, in your mind. Um, so the idea is that we're going to get to Friday with a lot of motivation, right, to relax and have a good time. Now we're going to go on and I have to ask you the question, what did we do yesterday? What did we study yesterday? What do you remember from yesterday's class? Anything, if you remember one word that we've learned one new word, share that, okay, say it. What was the question teacher, sorry? What did we do yesterday? What did we practice? What did we study? What did you learn yesterday? Oh, I learned towing food. Towing food. Uh-huh. What is the definition? Some new words. Some new words, Mariela. Thank you. Um, we, we're we talking about purchase. Can purchase. You can you, purchase. I'm sorry. sorry. I, I had the, the right way to tell and 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 i don't read it <laughs> we <laughs> talk about purchase sanit sanitizing sanitizing sewing food and storage uh food storage food uh, okay or know. food storage Sorry. i think uh -huh. yeah uh, something like that. <laughs> okay, yeah okay. got it so throwing food what what is the meaning of that throwing food Eat less frozen. Okay, so it's to well. Let frozen food uh, become warmer to cook. War okay, be become um, liquid or become soft, right? So that it can be cooked. Okay, yes. that's correct. So we're going to move on and uh, the next, the other words that you mentioned were sanitizing as Blanca said, right? Um, what else? What else did we study, did we practice, did we talk about yesterday? Whatever you remember. About our procedures. Procedures? And what else? Sorry, I, there were two people talking. Ana Beatriz, sorry, you said something. Testing method. Ah, okay, the methods. Okay, that's correct. And procedures. Okay, so you were drawing, remember? You had an inspiration yesterday, so you were drawing like Picasso or Da Vinci, right? Uh, to represent two procedures that you normally have at work. 
So, uh, for example, a meeting that you have a meeting every morning, or that you have to uh, go to a, a computer system, a computer program, right? To to check some information or to verify some data. Uh, so there were many different procedures, okay? Many different procedures. And uh, I was showing you, right? I was showing you some of the screenshots that I took during the presentation. So um, that is something that we're doing. Good. Anything else that you remember? I'm going to share the screen with you. Uh, so you remember a little bit about that. Wait a second. Okay, so here it is. So this was on page number 18, right? So we were discussing about, about that, uh, about procedures and yeah, it's ready. So I will share the screen with you. I have been on the com in front of the computer almost all day today. So if I shut down the, the camera for a moment, it's because the, it's too bright uh, sometimes. So uh, these are, well, this is the previous one, uh, number 16, uh, the way that I remember the, the, the group members. Okay, that was a, the cool picture that we took. Miguel was there, right? So that was last week, no, that's me. Sorry. Uh, and we had the, well, we reviewed the vocabulary. We had the different uh, procedures that the people have in different companies. Uh, I would like to know about, about a little bit about that. Okay. So, um, okay, excellent. Ruth. So um, I think it was early, I mean, Brenda. Uh, what is the procedure that you were explaining in the Word document? I didn't understand um, it very well. Oh, it's what you do at your workplace or something huh? like that in your daily routine? Mm -hmm. When so what is, right now what is, no, or yesterday? yesterday? Yesterday, what was the procedure that you were explaining? Because I, ah, just... I didn't read the letters. Uh -huh. Ah, so just what I do when I uh, start to work. Ah, the okay. That I usually do. Okay, mm -hmm. so you have a routine. Uh huh. More or less, it's like a routine, but it can be variable also. Okay, I got it. Perfect. Yeah. So I remember that you were explaining that, right? Uh, and also, uh, Blanca. I think it was Blanca who was sharing with us that. If she skips one step in her procedures, she can have a lot of problems. She can lose a lot of information in her job. Um, Diana was also sharing in her group that she has a lot of different things to do. And depending on the number of brands that they are work, the company is working with. Uh, then Rolando had this pretty cool picture, right? I'm going to show it to you in a moment, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, this was the previous one. No questions, no comments. So throwing food, this is for the people that were not able to be yesterday in class because of the connection or because of uh, other reasons. Uh, hand washing, sanitizing, food storage, purchase, tasting method. Okay, so um, we have the definitions. We practice the reading aloud, right? Uh, we're going to do a little bit of reading aloud today so you can practice a little bit more. Uh, because that's one of the best ways to improve pronunciation, as I said it, right? So please read, complete this exercise. When you, don't, when you don't do one exercise or when you, for a reason, are not present in the moment that we're completing something, try to do it by yourself, okay? If it's possible for you to print the manual so you can do the exercises, um, I mean, with a pen or pencil, do it. So I think it's better that you use your, your hands, right, and your writing, uh, than just trying to see everything in the computer and remember the, the, the answers. I mean, it can work for some people, but not for everybody. So um, you have to do the drawing, right, and share with, with everybody about the mini poster. And um, then we work in groups. 
last but not least, okay, these were some of the evidences, right, that you were sharing. Okay, this is one that Rolando was sharing, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, exactly. So the printing machine, then check the dirt water, then the clean water, then the sewer, and the water goes to the rivers. So it's like an engineering thing here. Rolando, can you explain us that? Okay. Uh, normally, when we make newspaper, the printing machine uh, ah. did, it, did in the water. Yeah, okay. and because uh, the machine cleaned the newspaper. Okay. Yeah. And when when the process is 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 running, the water uh, go from. I don't know how do you say to areas. Pipes. From pipes. Pipes. Uh -huh. Pi from pipes and uh, uh, stay on the on on the tank. Yeah, this tank uh, receive all the water, mm -hmm. and I always check every day at AIM the level from this tank. Ah. When the level is higher, I have to make some pro some process, some procedures, procedures to clean the water. We have a, a, another machine that uh, make. Uh, that clean the water oh, okay. because, because I don't know it is my microphone I don't know sure. no okay and uh, this is necessary because we 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 don't don't want to to pulling the the rivers yeah, you want and, to pollute the rivers. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, and, and for that reason, we do it every day. But the pros the procedure is start when the level is high. Yeah, for that reason, I check every day the level. Okay, thank yeah. you for sharing that. So yeah, that's the process of, of uh, the water when you're making newspaper. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So interesting. I didn't know there was so much water going on in the newspapers uh, industry. Okay. Cool. Uh, we're going to move on with the next one. Uh, that's me again with some of you. That's the one that Brenda was explaining. Uh, yeah, I couldn't read the, everything right, but that was a little process, a little mind map that she was drawing uh, using Word. That this is evidence, and um, yeah, we we're happy with that drawing from Sulema. Uh, so that's supposed to be her working with the computers, I think. Uh, we're not so sure, okay. And then we had the discussion, right? What happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures or what steps you follow in your everyday work? Okay, so this is something that we were discussing and we had the conversation, right? So uh, in the conversation, uh, we had four volunteers, okay, yesterday to practice it, okay. However, the words that appear here are, are key for what we're going to do next. So I would like to hear a couple of more volunteers to check if you still remember the pronunciation of these words. So I need two volunteers. I think that Lori wants to volunteer. No, she activated the microphone. Okay, so two people who to practice. Raise your hand or use a reaction. Good, Ana Beatriz and Miguel Angel. Me, teacher. Okay, so Ana Beatriz, Miguel Angel, and then we listen to uh, Juan Jose with Glenda, with Laura, sorry. Okay, so Laura and Juan Jose and Ana Beatriz with I think it's your microphone, Juan Jose. Uh, Who is okay, this? So... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, 
Wait a second. In this um, case, we're going to listen to Ana Beatriz and Miguel, and then you will practice with Laura. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm Javier. In this okay. So Miguel and Ana Beatriz, ready? Yes, okay. teacher. Okay. So Ana, you start, and then Miguel continues. Okay. okay. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. Uh, first, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment in the put in the register or your slide the, the card through the card reader. Then the register print the receipts and you give in back uh, to the customer. Finally, the customer send the receipts and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you, you Miguel Angel. You're welcome. Okay, that's correct. Very good. So, reactions. So, receipts, that's the pronunciation. Very good. Now, Juan Jose and Laura. Hi. Okay, so Juan Jose, you start the conversation. And I'm ready. It's going to continue. Okay, thank you. Okay. Juan Jose, are you there? Yes, I forgot. Okay, okay yes. Start the conversation. Uh, please. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in the register or just slide the card through the card reader. Then the register points, the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sees the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, the, rec the receipts, right? So the receipts. No, that's the, that's that's the word. Yeah, exactly. The receipt. So uh, let me just uh, move this picture, this uh, slide to the next one. Uh, just right now, what you're going to do after the the next slide is to create your own. Uh, conversation. So what I want you is to develop the ability to uh, explain how to do something because this is some this is a skill, right? This is a skill. Uh, and believe it or not, something as something simple when you try to explain in a new language becomes complicated. So for example, if I tell you in Spanish, right? Like um, no sé cómo utilizar uh, TikTok. Uh, and you're like, ah, no, that's a piece of cake. Uh, so, busca la descarga, está esta opción, después aquí para subir video, etc., 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 right? Okay, got it. Now, can you explain me that in English? Ah, okay, wait a second. In English. Say subir. How can I say uh, descargar, right? So, maybe that's, that's an easy one. So um, that's the point, okay? So one of the main objectives for today is that you know how to describe steps of a procedure. Something simple, something simple, how to do something. Um, for example, uh, how many of you like social networks? How many of you like social networks? Okay, Blanca. Orlando, only Black and Orlando like social networks. I don't believe that. I don't buy that. <laughs> okay, how many of you like, um, let's say, Netflix exercising? Or going to a gym or practicing any sports? Okay. Brenda, very good. So, so. 
so so okay only Brenda and Rolando okay how many of you like cooking or know how to cook maybe you don't like it but you know how to do it or maybe you like it but you don't know how to do it it's okay you can raise your hand or use a reaction so Brenda loves cooking apparently uh, Diana Rolando and no more. It's interesting. A lot of people know how to cook or know about cooking. Okay, how many of you know how to play a musical instrument? Raise your hand quickly. Raise your hand. I use a reaction. How many of you know how to play a musical instrument? I just play the radio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, one more question. How many of you know how to, let me check, how to draw, how to draw? Orlando, Blanca, okay. So drawing, right? Mariela, you too? Okay, perfect. So. There are some so, of you who, so, so, okay, good. So what you're going to do is basically uh, recreate, okay, a similar conversation, uh, but let me check somebody wrote in the chat. Uh, can you hear my voice well? Just to clarify. I hear the, the air. Interference. There's some interference. A big interference. Okay. I, Teacher, I hear I something so like a fan. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a fan. Maybe it's a fan. Let me check because I see that are. What is fan? A fan? fan? Ventilador. A oh, fan yeah. is a ventilador. Yeah, fan can be ventilador or abanico, right? Also. Um, let me check. Okay, good. So we're ready to go. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you quickly this next slide, right? So what you're going to do right now is to answer the following questions. There are two questions about the conversation. Okay, what is the first question? Uh, I will ask for the volunteer. Jackie, question number one, please. Okay, question number one. But I can. What steps? Ah, what, what step does manager Moore give Javier to process a payment? To process a payment. Okay, so that's another thing that I shared with you yesterday. I clarify some terminology. Okay, for example, customer and client. I also explain you the difference between what else? Client is when you use some service. Some specialized services. Service, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And customer is, is a regular service that is given to everybody, right? Like in a restaurant, in a hotel, in a call center. Okay. Excellent. Uh, the other two terms that I was explaining to you also was, I mean, we're a... When to pronounce purchase and when to pronounce purchase, right? As a noun, purchase, as a verb, purchase. As a noun, process, as a verb, process. Okay. Um, then the other one that I was trying to clarify were, was, yeah, I hear the noise now. Juan Jose, I think it's your microphone. <clears throat> okay 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 thank you jay well juan jose so i was going to say jj because i remember that that my nephew likes a cartoon now um the other one was how to how to use invoice and receipt remember invoice and receipt 
So invoice is related to things that you have to pay. So it's a ticket, right? With of the things that you have to pay with a lot of different, a lot of information. Uh, this is for large companies, right? And then uh, receipt is when you already pay for something. So they give you a receipt with the specifications of what you bought, but you already pay for that. Okay, Francisco, you raise your hand, please go ahead. Uh, thank you, teacher. I have a question. Mm -hmm. What is the difference? What is the difference uh, between commercial invoice and bills? Is the same? Bills is a general. It's a general um, term. Okay. So, for example, uh, when you go to a restaurant, can you give me the bill, please? So it's check, please. Right. So it's the same. Uh, when you pay for electricity, for water, for internet, it's a, an electricity bill, a water bill, an internet bill. So bill is a general term to say recibos, right, uh, or facturas. Um, so, and invoice is specifically the things that you have to pay, but when you're talking about products, right, a lot of different products. So when you work, for example, at, uh, with, um, customs, aduanas. So they bring the, the, the chips, right, from other countries and the containers. So it's a large amount of products. So they give you an invoice with all the products that you order and what you have to pay for them. So that's an invoice, okay? So, but the rest, the regular that we know are receipts. You can say tickets in some cases uh, or the bill, right? But the bill is more general. Uh, similar to ticket, right? And that's, that's uh, well, what you receive for at home is, is a bill, uh, electricity bill, uh, water bill, internet bill, so telephone bill, so those are bills. Um, so you have to pay the bills. That's the, what people say in English, okay? So the question number two, uh, okay, good question, Francisco. The question number two, Karen, please. What words does manager more use to order the sequence of events? The sequence of events. Events. Okay, correct. So quickly, uh, what, does, what steps does the manager more give Javier to process a payment? Can you please tell me the steps that he mentions? Remember that in this conversation, uh, Javier doesn't remember what happened. Okay doesn't remember how to process a payment. Okay, so probably Javier is a cashier, right? So yeah. what steps does the manager give to Javier? First. Offer the option to pay in credit card or cash. Uh -huh. Then. If the customer say in credit card, pass the credit card for the bank, or maybe with the chip. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you insert or you uh, swipe, right? The, 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 the card through the card reader. Okay, uh, and then finally, is there another step? Print the, print the receipt and give it a, cup, a copy to the customer mm -hmm. because she or he uh -huh. have to find the receipt and you give the copy to the customer and save one for you. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that, uh, Jennifer. So that's basically what uh, the steps that Javier has to follow in order to process a payment. Okay, now, what words does the manager use to order the sequence of events? How many yeah. words did you identify? Four, four words, teacher. Four words. What is the first one? First. First. The next word? After that. After that? Then Three. and finally. Then and finally. I know. Okay. So, uh, 
in this case, in this case, for example, I am going to give you one uh, similar scenario, right? So in, I am an, an English teacher, okay? And I receive, uh, there's a new teacher. So the teacher wants to know what is a procedure to, uh, to prepare and give the class. So I am going to, to uh, do the conversation, right? Okay, so first of all, you need to uh, get the books. It's a new teacher, so I have to explain everything, right? You get the books. Then you are going to um, find out in which unit and page the students are. So after that, you can prepare your class. When the class is ready, you are going to present that uh, lesson plan to the principal. And finally, if, you, if it is approved, you are ready to go to the classroom and wait for the students to arrive and develop the class the way that you plan it. Okay, Freddie, thank you so much. So I gave indications to the new teacher how to uh, prepare and how to teach, how to give a class, right? Um, that's an example. So you see, it's not that difficult. You just have to think about something that you know how to do or what are what the steps are, and you will explain it to one partner. So in this case, you will have to uh, create two different scenarios, two different conversations. Okay. So uh, based on your ability, based on your knowledge. So think about something that you know how to do. I am going to share with you the, the, the next presentation. Okay, so that you understand what you're going to be doing. Wait a second. Okay. Right now, I'm going to stop sharing and share the new screen with you. Please let me know if you can see the the new presentation. Yes, no? Yes, blue, I can okay. see it. A blue background? Yes? Okay, yeah. perfect. So uh, that's the new one that we're going to be using, okay? So blue is better. <laughs> now, uh, before we answer these questions, okay, what you're going to do is to create your own conversation. So, Think about a dish or how to build, how to fix something or how to do something, a procedure and explain how to do it step by step. So I already gave you the example about how to plan a class, okay? How to start preparing a class. So I, I gave it some indications. First you do this, this and this and that. So think about the scenario, think about the explanation, okay? you can you, Use your notebook, right? And then you will explain it, okay? If you want to do it like a conversation, you can do it. If not, just make it like a presentation. So you are going to explain or present how to do something to your partner. It will be in purse, in purse. So individually, everybody's going to think about how to explain something. Maybe it can be about how to how to buy a Netflix account or how to get money from the ATM, okay? Uh, or how to open an account at a bank, a savings account at a bank, or maybe how to prepare a lasagna, I don't know. So, uh, or how to, <laughs> how to exchange the Bitcoin, <laughs> now that is popular, right? Uh, so whatever you want, you're going to explain how to do it, how to plant a tree, right? Uh, something that can be simple, but you will explain it step by step. Minimum, minimum, you need to have four steps, four steps in your procedure, okay? So think about something that you know how to do, how to fix, how to create, how to build, how to cook, okay? and then you will explain it to your partner. So right now I am going to check the attendance, okay? To check who's here and who's not. And then I am going to give you a 
four minutes for preparation and then two minutes for sharing, okay? So in total, it would be around six minutes to share this. So this is original creation from you, okay? You're going to uh, explain everything without a dictionary, without a book, just with what you know. Um, is the indication clear? Or uh, I need to explain you something else, or you have a, some doubts? It's clear. It's clear, okay, it's perfect. Clear. clear like coffee. So let's check it out. Uh, Freddy's, are you there? Yes. Sorry, okay. I'm here. Okay, very good. Uh, Blanca? I'm here. Jackie? I'm here. Okay. Uh, Janari? I'm here. Perfect. Suleyma? Okay, she didn't join us today. Ruth? Ruth Sarai, I think she wrote in the chat. Maybe she's not able to use a microphone right now. So, Rolando? I'm here. Okay, the next one is Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Merlin, thank you, Miguel. I'm here. Okay, perfect. Maritza? I'm here. Karen? Present. Present. Juan Jose. I'm here. Perfect. Harbin. Present teacher. Laura. Thank you, Harbin. Laura and Francisco. Present, okay. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Present. I know how difficult it is to be working and being in class. It's complicated. I have that experience. Uh, Floridalma? I'm here. Diana? I'm here. Carla? Carla? No. Okay, Brenda? I'm here. Okay, perfect. That's a mysterious voice, Brenda. Okay, uh, Mariela. Present. Uh, Elizabeth. I'm here. And Beatriz. I'm here. Excellent. So let's go on to the creation time. So what you're going to do is that right how to do something explain step by step how to do something maybe now that i see uh diana's background you can explain how to make the bed or how to use a washing machine right so anything think about something that you know how to do and explain it in english step by step using the keywords okay that we practiced in the previous conversation okay so believe me Explaining how to do things in English is important for work and for life, okay? Because sometimes we just say, okay, so turn on the, the machine, press the button, uh, write next, and go. So people don't, 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 uh, don't use good vocabulary, right? A specific vocabulary to explain a process. So for that reason, it's necessary. Imagine when you're giving directions in English. Okay, where is the Centro Historico? Ah, uh, and you are like, okay, in English, how can I tell this person how to get to the Centro Historico? Uh, you live in San Salvador, right? So it's like, mm, I, I recommend you to take an Uber. <laughs> Just, okay, that's, that's not an indication. left, level, and right. Yeah, it, that's not an indication, right? It's like, go straight and you will see the Centro Historico. No, I mean, you need to give more specific details, okay? Uh, so 
you will go to the breakout rooms in pairs. Okay, I'm going to create more breakout rooms right now. Uh, you are 22, that means that we will have 11 breakout rooms. Just in case, okay, I will create 10. And you will have exactly six minutes, okay, to discuss about what you're going to explain. Make a little uh, outline or a little draft, right, Borrador? And then you explain to your partner how to do something, okay? So use your creativity, follow the steps, look at the example that is that I have given you that is in the book, and then you start speaking, okay? When we come back to the session, some of you are going to share because of time, right? Some of you are going to share with the class and that's it. Ready, set, and go now. Please accept the invitation. Use your imagination and share with your partner. Check root with Arvin, Mary Jessica, Laura, Freddy's, Marlene, Anna. And Elizabeth or Marlene, can you hear me? Hey, Floor. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. I that's can, a, I can. That's, a, that's a nice picture. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think that you- It's from your wedding. You are... Yeah, yes. I'm, with, I'm with you. I'm your partner right now. I'm teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So uh, well, I, I, was, I was writing something, for example. Let me let me finish. Okay, go ahead. Take your time. If you have a doubt, let me know. I'm going to okay. check just one more breakout room to check that everybody has okay. a corner and I'll come back. Wait a second. Okay. Uh, we both can explain how to how do it. How to do it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What is the process that you're going to explain? So it has to be the same for both of us. No, you create your own and you explain oh, to your okay. partner. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got it. Well, we have to do it like the same as the conversation, right? Following the steps, okay? The steps. But you, 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 you choose the words that you're going to, to you, I mean, you choose the words that you're going to use to explain the process, right? Oh, okay. Okay. So for example, if oh. you have a car and you want to explain how to change a, a, a tire, <laughs> or, change a tire uh, or change the oil, exactly. Very good. Okay. So that's what you're going to do. Excellent. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. So do you start or why start? Mm-hmm. Okay. For, for example, uh, recently someone asked me about how to set it, set up a printer. And mm -hmm. in my case, I know how to set up because in my mm -hmm. in my house, in my home, you have to add the pasta there in the pot, and then you have to be checking each maybe 
two minutes more or less because otherwise it will get overcooked. So after it's ready, uh, in the meantime, maybe you can. Okay. Hello, somebody call me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I have a doubt because uh -huh. um, I uh, understand that we are going to create the step for to plant a class. How to do something. No, no, no. How to do something. I gave you the example of creating uh, a class. But you can explain, for example, how to install an application, how to change the oil of a car, uh, how um, to... Okay. How to, I don't know, how to make, uh, for example, for how me, to make coffee in a coffee machine. Okay. For me, okay. You, you, you give only, you give only an example, but an example. I am and you're going to create. Too? Do you have uh -huh. to yes, make I am teacher too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Freddy, okay. I, I am teacher too. And I am, uh, I am uh, prepared um, to step for to plan a class how to plan uh, a class so you can you can tell yes. Rolando the the steps right or the or the elements that you have in a lesson plan uh -huh. how you organize your lesson plan yeah that can be that in can my be an case example. in my case I will explain how to make an, an orange chicken oh okay <laughs> yeah. interesting go yeah, ahead in so you have you have three minutes more okay 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 perfect. okay okay Uh-huh, Ms. Ramirez, are you there? Yes, I'm can back. you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, well, I, I, I make a procedure, for example, how to sell any Cody's service. Well, I, hmm? I work in a total agency, so I ah. think that I can do it. <laughs> I need to talk to you about traveling then because I love traveling. <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> well, okay. uh, first, Tell me. you have to, okay. First, you have to identify what your client needs or what they are looking for. For okay. example, how many people would travel? What kind of tourings do you want to do? On what days can you travel? How long to stay? Mm -hmm. And maybe for me, important if you need any type um, of visa or immigration requirements. Uh -huh. And the most, most important, the budget that you have to spend. I don't know. Okay. If it's yeah, the budget. The, the uh -huh. The budget how much okay. how much money you have to for the trip exactly okay and then you have the base and you know which operator or which airline or which hotels you can use in conclusion you know where to look to make dreams come true wow that's really <laughs> good that was really good you have a lot of experience i can see Okay. Yeah, I, I have my four years working there. Four years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot of time. Definitely. Yes. So uh, um, I'm going when to. You need something, tell me. Yeah, sure. I will. I would love to travel to Barcelona. To be honest with you, that's my second dream. Uh, I mean, dream destination. Uh, number one for me was Machu Picchu in Peru, and. I did it three years ago. Uh, three years. Three years ago, yeah, in 2018, 2018. Mm -hmm. so but that, I would like to go to Barcelona. Huh? Okay. No, it's, it's, it's good that you visit in the past Machu Picchu because now is a lot of restrictions to, to visit the, the place. Yeah, I know. It's, that's the reason why yes, I decided to go because. Uh -huh. yes. Sometimes mm -hmm. what? Sometimes um, has been close. Machu Picchu. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Has ha, has been closed for yeah. for a moment. Mm -hmm. 
Got it. And maybe in the future will be closed forever. Okay. I hope it's not because it's a beautiful place, but we never know, right? I I, I hope that too because I I don't I don't know. I I have no visit yet. Oh I would like. yeah, you should definitely go there. It's beautiful. Yeah. Cusco, Cusco in general, everything. Yeah. And how many days do you stay? I just I was there just for five days. It was not too much. Yeah, it was a short time, but it was worth it. And did you visit just just Cusco or did you visit just Lima Cusco. too? Just Cusco. I stepped, I stopped in Lima, but I didn't visit any place. So it was just Cusco. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just but, Cusco. Oh. Yeah, but they have a oh, lot of places. Valle Sagrado, yes. that's correct. Okay, so we will talk about that in one day. Well, tomorrow we're going to talk about vacation. <laughs> so maybe you can share some tips with us. Now we're going to go back. I think the majority <laughs> of us already finished. Yeah, yeah, why not? Okay. We can, we can talk about it. No, thank you. You did an excellent job. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So everybody finished, I think, uh, I hope. Did everybody finish? It's like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm not sure Juan, Juan Jose and Isaac and Harvey are like, kind of, kind of, yeah. No, okay. You did it, okay, perfect. So um, is there any volunteer who would like to share the process or the procedures uh, that you organize uh, or that you explain to your partner? I would like to be the, the final the first vol volunteer. The last volunteer, okay, perfect. So uh, we have space and time for um, about four volunteers, okay? About four volunteers. So remember, every opportunity, take it and practice, okay? If I can help you, I will do it. And you know that. So. Uh, who wants to explain us something? Me, teacher. Okay, Miguel, go ahead, please. Okay, teacher, thank you. Uh, recently, uh, someone asked me about um, how to set up a printer. Ah, okay. Yes. Um, That's not easy. <laughs> it's difficult. Yeah. It's difficult. For me, I, I try to do one, two, three, <laughs> some different times, but finally it's okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, so um, the procedures are, uh, for example, install the cartridges in the printer and mm -hmm. all paper uh, to the tray, then insert the CD, installation CD, and run, and run the printer, um, which will install the printer drivers, uh, connect your, uh, your PC or uh -huh. laptop. Um, with this, using the USB cable yes. or or wife or how do you say in alambrico? Wireless. Wireless, yes, wireless. wireless. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um then is well is this okay? Uh print a test page. Okay. Uh-huh. In your system. Um if is well the printer the test printer is normal. Got it. Yes. Um, this is uh, the procedures uh, okay. the, uh, we we can uh, to do about the setup of printers. Excellent class for Miguel. Way to go. Thank you. Yeah, that that's complex. It's not so easy to print. I mean, to to set up a printer, especially a new printer, right? Okay. So the next volunteer we have is Rolando. Okay. 
Tell I us. will I will explain how to to make an orange chicken. Wow, that sounds delicious. Orange chicken. Pay attention. Take notes, or you can watch the video later. Right? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, like to uh -huh. like like to this. Wow. Okay. First, I use chunky chicken. Chunky is a uh, a uh, pieces of chicken. Ah, chicken chunks. Uh huh. Yeah, chicken, chicken chunks. chunks. Yeah. Yeah. Then I cover them with a uh, bread, breader, mm -hmm. and I put them to fry. Okay, After you fry that, them. Yeah. Okay. After that, I cook the orange sauce, and and then I put the sauce at the fried chicken, and finally, it's ready to eat. How do you make the orange the orange sauce? Well, we can we can make with juice, orange with, juice. With the orange yeah, juice, put, uh -huh. Yeah, you put the 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 juice in a um cow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and put uh, about a big quantity of sugar. Yeah, and then um. you can remove. Normally, you have to use uh. Uh, morenita la, the sugar the, the brown the sugar brown yeah. sugar yeah brown and, sugar. and yeah. Uh, it's really important to to other uh, soy sauce soy soy sauce yeah because soy this sauce. is this uh -huh. is uh important ingredient for this okay. sauce. Excellent. yeah and you have to to move 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 and when to shake when you, it right to shake yeah. it uh -huh. yeah got it yeah and finally you you have you obtain the the sauce it's really delicious i can do okay. it okay wow okay so class for rolando oh, thank you yeah I, I didn't think that it was well it sounds not too complicated right okay no it's this 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 dish is really really easy Mm -hmm. You have to make, you have to, to, it's necessary to have time to make, mm -hmm. but it's really, it's really easy. I it's think easy. Brenda is interested now because she said that she loves cooking. So uh, let's continue with the next volunteer. Thank you, Rolando. You're welcome. Next one. Who wants to share the next uh Okay, two participants raise a hand. So Juan Jose, you're next. Okay, I'm going to put the presentation. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Do you, yeah, do you see it. the presentation? Yeah, we see the taxonomy of Bloom. Uh, Bloom's yes, taxonomy. It's for, uh -huh. uh, Yes, uh, for example, and uh, in the, oh, but I don't know the, okay, I, I watch, but I don't know if you watch. <laughs> yeah, we first, can see it. The first step, okay, the, the first step is, it is when the, um, the people um, give the, the knowledge, mean the, the, for the student, remember the knowledge. On okay. the second, or after that, after that, that the student understand, okay. uh, understand uh, that knowledge, um, then that uh, apply, apply the understand. Uh, finally, there are more steps, but in this case, only four. Uh, after the apply, analyze, an analysis, analysis um, that. Um, the knowledge, the application, or the, the knowledge, the the comprehension, comprehension. Comprehension. Uh, uh -huh. Taxonomy of the yeah, Bloom is our uh, sixth step, but in this case, only four. Only four, okay. So this is for learning, right? Learning. Okay, yes, excellent. Yes. Excellent, very good. Thank you so much, class for Juan Jose for sharing the Bloom's taxonomy. And uh, I don't know if we have another volunteer before we listen to Diana. Okay, somebody, okay, that's good. And the next one, that will be you, Diana. 
due to time, I guess that okay. it's fine. Yeah. Are you going to share a screen too? Yes. Okay, so uh, I'm going to... Okay, now it's ready for you. My turn. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna no present. more, no more suffering, please. No uh, more how temptations. To cook <laughs> a spaghetti. Uh, first, you have to boil the spaghettis until they get soft, like mm -hmm. in the second picture. Mm -hmm. And then also you have to boil the chicken too. Mm -hmm. Next, you have to cook the chicken in little pieces. Okay. <laughs> That's shred, shred, right? The chicken. Ah, uh, huh? shred. Okay. Then you have to put a little bit of margarine in a pan. Mm -hmm. And then add some cilantro to the pan, tomato sauce, and the uh, chicken soup. And then eat, um, and you have to add the chicken pieces and mix the and mix and cook them for 10 minutes. And finally, you can serve the food. And if you want, you can add cheese. <laughs> really easy to cook. This bravo, is, bravo, 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 I'm hungry again. Oh, oh my God. Bravo, bravo. I, remind, me, remind me not to talk about food, right? Uh, in the class <laughs> or so. Okay. okay. Good. Thank you so much. Uh, reactions for the presentation too. Um, Okay, so um, I guess that on the weekend you can think about cooking any of these dishes, right? That your classmates are sharing. So surprise your family or surprise yourself with your cooking with a new dish, right? Now we're going to move on. Uh, yeah, sorry, what was the word you said with the, the, the chicken? Shred. Shred. Shrek? Yeah, no, 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 it's not like, Shrek. Like the movie teacher. No, it's not Shrek. Like the ogro. Like and, the movie. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to share the word with you in, uh, through, the, through the chat. Uh, okay, that is... Um, I to, can't... I can't... Water, this is okay. <laughs> you can what? I can cook water, this is okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean that matter chance, right? They they are yes. cooking, yeah, like okay. So or put water hot or hot water. Yeah, boil it's water and, and that's it. It's ready for yeah. after three minutes. After three minutes, yeah. So yeah. I share the, the word with you in the in the chat. So uh shred is the action, right? Um also you can say tira or trozo for papers. Uh, we use that too, shredded. Uh, okay, let's go on. No more cooking. Um, and I'm going to share the screen with you one more time. Here we go. So as I was telling you, right, we have the new uh, presentation. And what we have here is, do you ever meet difficult customers? Of course, probably you are not everybody is dealing with customers, but uh, imagine, right? Yourself in that in that scenario. So, uh, do you ever meet difficult customers? Choose one of the situations, okay, below, and list and describe five steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer. Then present your process to the class. Okay. So, number one, uh, Harvin, please. Read a number customer, one. Okay. A customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Okay. Number two, Francisco. Francisco, are you there? Yes. Okay, number two, the please. Is, the customer is very 
aggressive, Agre aggressive, aggressive, aggressive to all of your employments. Okay, there you go. So uh, aggressive, it's not good, obviously. Uh, I am going to ask, let me see, Jennifer, number three. Jennifer or Janari, number three, please. Janari, can you hear me? Uh, customers, oh, sorry. It's okay, so go ahead with number three, Jennifer. We'll go with number four for Janari. Okay, a customer says he found a toothpick and his food and that he will not pay for the food. Okay. What is a toothpick? That's probably new vocabulary. That's correct. Okay. Uh, yeah, they call him mandariente, I think, right? Yeah, palillo. That's correct. Yeah. So, uh, Janari, number four. Number four. Yeah. A customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order yeah that happens with some restaurants okay excellent thank you so much number five maritza a group of customers are getting upset, upset because the cash uh -huh, the cashier the cashier the cashier is too slow yeah okay too slow so Choose one of these situations, okay? And make a list, okay? A description of the steps that you would follow or that you could use to deal with a customer. Okay, so select one customer. Think about the process, how you can deal with this customer and explain it, right? So uh, you are going to present your process to the class. So in this moment, I am going to give you exactly four minutes, maximum five, okay, for you to write down, write your, the five steps that you could use to deal with that customer. Select one of them, okay? Select one of them and write down the ideas about what you would do to handle that situation, to handle that customer, how to deal with him. Okay, so your time begins now, okay? Choose one, prepare your, your ideas, your steps, and then you will share with the class. is angry Okay, Francisco, what is the question? Uh, teacher, uh -huh. uh, in my case, I think that the number one is the most common uh -huh. be because in my job, uh, sometimes the customers say, uh, I need this order by air uh, because if, if for you responsible, this ordering is late. And mm -hmm. you need and you need to pay the the old treatment for yeah. my warehouse. I I think. Uh, okay, so what you're going to do right now is to write down the steps 
how you would deal or how you could deal with that customer? Yes, but I, in this case, uh, we not to discuss with the customer because we have more orders to process. Mm -hmm. um, so that is the point. In this case, Escribir yeah. las cinco pasos o cinco cosas que harían para lidiar con ese cliente. Yes. Okay. Yes, all, all, only comments. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's a good yeah. comment because of your experience. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Francisco. Okay. And let me check. Harvin, today we are going to have the, the extra minutes at the end of the session. Okay, so let me know if you don't have any inconvenience. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So prepare the 100 questions for the teacher. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, let me check. Okay, one more minute for you to organize your ideas. And then I am going to uh, ask some volunteers that haven't participated too much, right? Uh, because that's the point, right? I want everybody to, to speak or to use the language in the class. Blanca, you have a question? No, I want to participate. To participate, okay, perfect. So if, let me check, I'm just going to wait. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Teacher, if we, 5, If we are not going 4, to participate, we have to 3, send, send 2, the... One the Go. thing through the chat wait i have no i have the second part so don't worry okay right now we're just going to listen to two maximum three of you and then i'm going to send you to small groups where you're going to share your your how to deal with that customer that you selected okay i told you you're going to speak <laughs> okay so uh when i promise something i do it i fulfill that so uh blanca your turn Go ahead. Okay. I pick uh, the a customer is calling upset because he received the no wrong delivery. Okay. That's something that it happens to me two times. Two okay. Times. And I get upset because I'm a temperate. Temp I don't know how to say. Um, I'm a moody person. I'm a, a temper person. Moody. You can say moody or temperamental I'm a moody person. person. Yeah. I'm a moody person, but uh, as soon as I get angry, when they give me a solution, I just that that's made me happy in the in the moment. Okay. Okay. And I have some some steps to follow. First, first, I tell to the customer that I'm going to check what what was his pro, his order because when they check what I mm, pedí, what I ordered. <laughs> Hi, sorry. What I ordered, and um, they can check if I'm the wrong. In the if I'm wrong with uh, with the problem or they have a problem mm. with my order, then after I check the order and find the problem, I explain to the customer what happened and why he or she received the wrong order. Mm -hmm. Next, I give a solution to the customer and give some incentive incentives. Incentives. I don't yeah. Know. Incentives. incentives, yeah, you can say incentives, that's correct. Then that will be a solution for the 
for the customer. And I have to send all over again the order and tell the tell the customer that the other order uh, it's for he or she. It's free for she or he because for the convenience. I don't know. Mm -hmm, the inconvenience. Say, That's right. Yeah. If I say it right. You get the point. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Blanca. Appreciate okay. it. Good. Uh, do we have one more volunteer? Somebody wants to share with the class? Okay, perfect. Anna and uh, yeah. I think Freddie. Freddie's once and Jenny. Okay. Because of time, we're going to listen to Anna and then I will send you to the small rooms, right? To the small groups. So you can share your, everybody can share. Okay, so Anna, please, Beatriz. Okay, sometimes is frequently, uh, we had a angry customer because his food was not delivery on times. And those cases is convenient, offer apologies to the customers and correct, and correct immediately the the mistake in the mm -hmm. course offered to the customer get the food free but it's important after that improve your procedures mm -hmm. and then review and evaluate if the restaurant have enough people for assist to the customers That's and, a finally, good point. and mm -hmm. finally is a good if the restaurant gives some gift or some food free to the customers too. Okay, yeah, free food is definitely something that can make a customer happy. So yes. thank you so much. Okay, Anna, that's a really good point. Don't forget about the reactions when your classmates are uh, participating, right? Or, uh, being volunteers. So in this case, I am going to recreate the rooms uh, so that we have enough people in every room. I will create just six, six breakout rooms. So Diana, Jennifer, Maritza, and Ruth, group number one, room number two, Anna, Harvin, Merlin, Miguel, Brenda, Flor, Rolanda with Jessica, room number four, Anna with Glenda and Juan Jose, uh, five, well, I think that I will pre recreate just, yeah, that's okay. So ready, set, and go. You have exactly five minutes. Yeah, just five minutes. Check. Coupon for the next time. And mm -hmm. finally, say thank you to the client. And sorry for the problem. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, to me, it happens a lot. Well, I don't know. Many times. Really? That send me the wrong order. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's only one time. Pizza Hut sent me the wrong order, and they they send uh, the the correct order, but they give me the wrong order for free. Oh, that's that's really fine. Mm -hmm. For me, it happens with Kentucky, and and it happened ah. to how to resolve maybe how to resolve five step how you can resolve the problem ah, oh, example, okay, okay, okay. i choose i i choose um when the customer is mad because they receive a um i don't know what to say um <laughs> okay, just a little, just a little comment about the verb resolve. In this case, when you want to say resolver, like to fix something uh, or find a solution, the the correct one is solve. Solve, solve a problem. Resolve has a different meaning. Resolve has a different meaning. You can check it out later. Okay. Only like solve. solve, yeah, solve, yeah. solve a problem, yeah. Right. Result well. has another meaning, yeah. Solve. Result has another meaning, yeah. Uh, okay, ah, uh, okay. I, I will, it exists, uh, it exists. I will select uh, uh, the number two. Okay. A customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Okay, I will, I will make four steps. First, uh, try to understand the reason for for their attitude. <laughs> yeah. Suppose that I that I am the manager to the restaurant or the the place, and I go to the to the customer and and, and I will try to understand what happened. Yeah. Then try to 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 solve the problem. Uh, in a friendly way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the second, the second step. The third, find a way to to prevent the discussion to continue. So, yeah, try to resolve. If the customer don't want change, I uh, I call the the security. Yeah, and remove the custom, customer from the <laughs> get out. I will do it. This I don't know if this is is a, a the employee is first. <laughs> what what? The employee is first. The employee is first. Yeah, because it, it, yeah, in some in some companies like the customers first. Yeah. Customer first, but in the some customers first. like the, the, the employee right. is first. Okay. Uh, the employee yeah. is first. This, this is my 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 opinion. I don't know if it's, it's good. What about you, Flor? Well, uh, I, disappear. I, <laughs> I choose when, I don't remember so well, but when when the customer is mad because she received a different, different order. Ah, okay. I, I think that something like that so okay. first or oh, the, the, the step number one uh, don't make the situation worse by being defensive whether you make a major or minor mistake make him or make her understand make he is in a make her in understand. a error uh, with their comfort. Oh. Hi, teacher. Hello. Yeah, I was telling you that when you, if you want to say hacer entender, hacerlo entender, or hacerla. So in this case, make him or make her mm -hmm. understand. That make. Is make him or make her mm -hmm. understand. Okay. That she's in an error, right? Or that she's wrong. Mm -hmm. That she's wrong. Uh -huh. Make she's her wrong. see or make her understand that she's wrong. Uh -huh. Okay. 
That's right. This is uh, that I do it. Okay, who's missing? Only one person or two? Three. Uh, I'm going in this moment. You're next. Okay, uh, so I you have two minutes. I, I should find a solution. Find a solution to the customer be happy with the delivery. Third step, give the customer a discount. Fourth step, try to make the customer. Yes. Hello, did you finish? No, or is someone missing? Oh, okay, oh, almost oh. finished, okay. I'm just checking, I'm we just checking, okay? We are more, okay. Excellent, that's good. Remember, that is the reason why you're in the class, to learn and practice, learn and practice, right? Practice is more important, right, than any, anything else, good. Thank you. Okay, thank You're welcome. You. Okay, you, I... have, you have exactly one minute and a half more. And offer, offer then an apology. Mm -hmm. And then I could send the right delivery in the short time as could be possible. And I would, then I could, uh, Give them a dessert and for free, yeah, for free. And finally, I would give them as additional because it was the fault of the restaurant, uh, sent the wrong delivery and extra discount for the next purchase. Okay, nice. <laughs> I would like to have that issues with my order. <laughs> or go to to the restaurant mm -hmm. because it's full, but it's more it's more fast the, the attention. Yes, the, the, the delivery. Mm -hmm. The attention is faster at the restaurant. That's what you said. Uh, the tension faster uh, in restaurant than delivery when it's holidays when it's a special uh, day we were talking we were talking about uh restaurants uh, used to get confused in uh in special dates when many people mm -hmm. is asking for, for some celebration for mother's yeah. day or father's day or any holiday or that kind of holiday any holiday exactly yeah, yeah. It's, it's difficult. So okay. we, we don't we don't like to wake the deliveries and we we choose to go to the restaurant and and buy to go. I don't know. <laughs> okay, order to go. That's correct. Yeah, um, go. yeah that's correct. So uh, I suppose that you already finished because you are only three in the majority of the breakout rooms that are yeah. four people. So, uh, and we had already listened to Blanca in the plenary, right? So yeah. uh, you already knew what she, was, what, what she had to say. So uh, something important here is that you are putting into practice the, the sequencers, right? In, if you see in the, well, I will say this when we come back to the session. Um, but if you see, there's a link where you can see a video on how to use these words. But you can use this not only, not only for procedures. I mean, you can narrate stories. You can tell what happened, right? By using different sequencers. So uh, sequencers, that would be the, the, the right intonation. So, um, and finding solution. That is something that is difficult when, when you're learning a new language, right? Like how can you give a solution? How can you explain something? Those are little skills that make a big difference when you are, uh, a bilingual person, right? That you can express different things in the language. So I'll see you in the main session in a moment. All right, so everybody's coming back. Okay, so due to time, okay, we're going to stop there with the, with the participations. And the speaking part, uh, Blanca, you want to say something? Sorry. The same thing that yesterday. Who's gonna be with you after class? I told Harbin that he's the next one. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. So, uh, as you can see in the in the chat, I share one link with you guys, so you can uh, save it right for later. You can watch that video. It's about how to use sequencers. Uh, what we have been putting into practice, but with more explanation, right? More explanation. So the bit is about eight minutes, but if you want to understand it better, I recommend you to take a look at that video. Remember that I always tell this to my students. I mean, um, it is okay that you enter the class, that you pay attention, you participate and you practice. It is okay that you study with the book, but remember that if you have more time, in your case, it's not so possible. I know that it's not, it's not that you have a lot of time, but it is good that you find other resources or that you look for other resources because sometimes, for example, we have in a class students who are very, um, let's say musical. So if you like videos, you like this and the other. So in that case, uh, you can look for videos that are connected to the topic. There are people who are more visual. So these people can also watch videos or they can look for uh, flashcards, for example, where you see the image and you see the word. Uh, there are other people that are more um, practical and they want to speak. So you can find a way to practice what you are studying. So always, whenever you have the opportunity, if you like to be in your cell phone, right, uh, a lot. So you can probably download an application for practicing uh, a little bit more or learning a little bit more. So that is important, okay, that you go beyond. Uh, okay, I'm going to send the video one more time. Yeah, no problem. This is about sequencers. And uh, now I am going to anticipate what's coming tomorrow. As I said, right, the discussion question is going to be related to vacations. Uh, Floor is going to help us out if you have any doubts about traveling because that's her area, uh, that's her field. Uh, in case you're thinking about all those vacations, right? Uh, and uh, we are also going to be doing some speaking activities to learn about each other a little bit more. We're about to finish, okay? We're about to finish the, the week. So um, something that I want to remind you is that for the week number two, okay? I, I think I already shared this in the, in the group with you. But for this week, we are finishing with a unit number two. Next week, we finish with everything about unit number two. And you have the midterm test. So that is the, the test that you have to take in the middle. Don't forget about that. It's really important. And um, the week number three, we finish. I mean, with the week number four, we finish with the unit three. And the final week, you have the final test. So if you have any other doubts, please, about the platform or anything, always keep in touch, okay? Send me a message. I already sent some information, right? So they can fix it because there are some exercises that they, they, have to, they need a correction, okay? Uh, and right now I'm going to call out the names to see who's here and who's not. Uh, do you have any questions, guys, before, um, well, as I take the attendance, Beatriz, present. Present. Yes, okay, Elizabeth. I'm here. Mariela. I'm here. Brenda. We lost Present. connection with Carla, okay. Uh, Diana. I'm here, teacher. Floor. I'm here. Francisco. I'm here, teacher. Laura. I'm here, teacher. Harvin. Present teacher. Jennifer. I'm here. Juan Jose. I'm here. Karen. Present. Maritza. I'm here. Merlin. Miguel. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Rolando. I'm here. Ruth, Janari, Jackie. I'm here, teacher. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, Blanca. 
and Freddy's. And come here. Okay, yeah. excellent. Okay, Ruth wrote in the chat. Excellent. So, guys, I really enjoy listening to you today. I had the opportunity to listen a little bit more when you were in the breakout room. So that was really positive for me. Uh, and the most important is that I see that you are getting to know each other really well and you have really fluent conversation. So that's excellent. Uh, as I said, right, it's about practice and getting confidence. Okay, we're not perfect, but we can do our best to express our ideas and communicate with others. That is the main purpose of learning a new language, right? That we communicate in the way that we can. Obviously, little by little, we improve different aspects. So thank you so much for uh, joining us one more night. I will see you tomorrow, God willing. Uh, if you have any doubts, problems, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Not economical problems because I cannot help you with that, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a teacher, but uh, if any other kind of problems, I'm here, right? I'll be there to help you out. Can you loan me some okay. money? <laughs> That's what I said. No, no economical problems, okay? I have enough. <laughs> yeah, I know. So have a good night. See you tomorrow, guys. Uh, Thank, you. Nice. Uh, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Au revoir. Hello. Teacher, did you mention me? Yes, I did. I I'm saw, sorry. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, okay. Don't worry, Merlin. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye bye. You're welcome. Goodbye. Okay, Harvin. How's okay, it going? Teacher. Everything is fine, teacher, today. I'm but glad to all, know that. Oh, good, it was fine. And yeah, I hope so. the rest of the week was in the same way. Hopefully, hopefully everything will be in the same way. So uh, tell me, what are some doubts uh, or issues that you have related to the language? About the topic teacher in this unit, I don't have um, more questions, but I, I would like to you tell me what is the best way? How can I improve my listening and my fluency? Because I, I, because I have a lot of problem with the listening. Okay. Uh, first of all, I, I would like to know how much exposure you have uh, to listening to things in English, how much... Uh, how often do you listen to things in English? To things in that's, English. That's it, the problem, teacher, because I I listen to a speaker in English every single day. Mm -hmm. Because okay. in, my, in my job I have to to listen, but I don't know. Sometimes it's difficult to understand what is the people talking. Okay, got it. Uh... I guess that uh, one of the first things that you have to do uh, is to focus on understanding the idea, okay? Uh, you are not going to understand everything always. So if you develop the ability to get the message, that's good. That's a good progress. That's, a, that's, that's something relevant that's the way that i do because uh, all my my co-worker are salvadorian mm -hmm. so but we have to speak with uh, american people uh-huh so when i listen to american people sometimes it's too difficult to to understand them yeah but because when, of, but when you listen to your salvadorian co-workers it's okay that's i right. i got the idea and i know what is the topic about we are uh -huh. speaking. So in this case, uh, what you need more of is exposure to native speakers. Not only in your job, but outside your job. Like uh, something that I, I would recommend you to do is to listen to podcasts. Listen to podcasts. Uh, podcasts yes, podcasts yes. Uh, help you a lot because it's people talking about everyday topics. 
uh, usually it's like in a radio program. So they are discussing with other people. Uh, talk shows, talk shows are really, are really good uh, because it's conversations in English. And, uh, and also something that I, I, I used to do when I, when I was trying to improve uh, my listening, because for me, listening was difficult too. I didn't practice a lot of speaking with native speakers. So that was a little bit challenging for me. Uh, something that I did was to find a partner, find a partner, someone that I could practice with. Sometimes it's possible, right? You can find someone who can tell you, yeah, sure, I can help you. And they live in the US or they had experience learning the language there, et cetera, right? Maybe a family member who is in another country. If that's not possible, uh, I would recommend you to probably look for some, uh, now that is popular, right? YouTubers or people who are native speakers and they are uh, uploading different videos. Uh, if the problem is listening, to understanding people who speak fast, you can watch news, news clips. News clips are really fast, like people talking about the, what's going on in the world, uh, the reports, et cetera, et cetera. So news like CNN, uh, I would recommend you CNN 10. That's- uh, I was watching. You know about that? CNN yes, 10? I, 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 I was watching and the, what can I say? The El presentador was so good. I understand the idea. No, uh -huh. everything, but I got the, the principal idea and the problem that he was talking about. Uh -huh. So now that you have these ideas, you need to start making a habit, like a routine, okay? So for example, during lunch, you're going to watch the news in 10 minutes, okay? For example, and you do it every day. So there is a moment that your, your, your listening is going to be adapted to that kind of speed, that kind of speaker, native speaker. So whenever you have to uh, listen to a real speaker, it's going to be easier for you because you're going to be familiarized more with native speakers. Uh, another thing that you can do is to take listening tests. Listening tests, for example, TOEIC or TOEFL. If you go to YouTube and you look for uh, TOEIC listening tests or TOEFL listening tests, you will have a lot of different tests that you can take. And uh, at the end of the videos, you have the, the answers and the scripts. So you can see mm -hmm. if you, your answers were correct and you can also see what they were saying. And then you can play it again with the script. So you're like, ah, so this is what this person was trying to say in this conversation. Because in the toy, for example, there are 100 questions about listening. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's divided in different parts. For example, photo description, a question response, short conversations, and long talks. And it's a lot about, I mean, from the short conversations to, I mean, all the tests is listening comprehension. So after you listen, you have to complete something. So that is like, it's challenging. It's challenging for you. And you get the, the, the ability of listening to questions, answers, question, answer, understanding the idea, the message. So that can help you a lot. Um, and you can also use some apps, okay? For example, there's an app that students tell me that they use. It's called uh, Cake. They say that it works for them. They say that it works for them. So uh, I believe them. Uh, and about the fluency, it's, it's, it's the same, it's similar, right? You need to find a way to be more exposed to, to let's say, conversations. But if it's not possible, then uh, you, can, you can try with the reading aloud, as I already told you, right? Reading aloud with a timer. So with their cell phone, right? Okay, I'm going to start reading one page and I will check how much time it takes me to read it, right? In a fluent way. If the problem is that I don't like to, to write, <laughs> to, to read, read. aloud. Uh, ah, so it, but you are not reading for comprehension. You are reading just for pronunciation and fluency. Okay. So if you don't understand what you're reading, that's okay. You don't no, have no to problem. read again. No problem. Just read because you want to improve your, your fluency when you're speaking. So try to do it. Oh. For example, I can get, a, I don't know, an article. I, 
you can find articles about topics that you like. If you like cars, you can read about cars. If you like uh, sports, you can read a newspaper, right? Uh, the news about Messi. So, and then you start reading aloud and then you can check the pronunciation, right? But the idea is that you challenge yourself to read in a way, like if you are a native speaker, not like okay. Eminem, right? But- uh, <laughs> Of course. But in a, in a fast way, as the way that you listen to the, the customers, that's the, the speed that you need to do it, okay? Oh. Watch videos, okay. And then try to read the, the subtitles, right? Like if you are the YouTuber, okay? okay uh, yes. Or you are the presenter. So that can help you, okay? Getting the scripts from, from the videos uh, or from the listenings. So that can help you a lot. And uh, the podcast, the podcast help a lot. Instead of listening to music, you can listen to podcasts, right? Like, even if you're not understanding everything, but you're listening to them, like, okay, I'm getting it. So you train, you exercise your ear. That is a point. But it has to be something uh, that will go step by step, right? It's not going to be like magic overnight. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Tisha. You're very welcome, Harbin. Uh, try it out and tell me how it goes. Okay, tell okay. me how it goes. Okay, okay. okay. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, see you. You're have welcome. Night. Good night. Okay, let me check.